Hey folks, Quilly Team here and welcome to another episode of Let's Play U4 as Moir and me have been warring real good. Man, these intros sound terrible with me trying to just jam in a random Moir pun over here. Um, I was looking at things and I was looking at the trade map over here and we had had a merchant since the start of the game in Deccan here. I don't think this merchant needs to be here anymore. Um, so I've actually moved them to the Coromandel route. And here's the, th the reason I'm doing this, because while we would prefer all the trade from Deacon to come to the Gujarat trade node, um, right now, there's still we still have enough trade power here that we're still doing transferring. It's transferring out. We're no longer steering in this direction, um, which is so one less face over here. So a little bit more might go towards Coromandel, but Coromandel's a pretty wealthy node. And right now, zero of the trading is going towards Gujarat, which seems pretty poor. A lot of it's being maintained here. Most of it's steering over there. So we're gonna to try to move that's steering towards us. And then if we can increase our trade power in this node as well, more, more of it will be transferred away. Mostly, I mean, a lot of that's gonna come as we keep breaking down uh, vinegar over here. Uh, Vijayanagar, man. Vijayan, Vijayanagar, vinegar. Anyway, um, but we did recently, we take some. We took some trade nodes over here too, which might be something that will be developable. So I think our economy is going to embiggen itself pretty quickly here as we make a few little trade changes. There you go. So already moving a little bit more there. Although see, that might've lost us money because of the, I'm actually surprised three nations are pulling here. But I guess they really don't add up that much. And Arissa's really pulling this way. Ah, oh, man. Actually, might be worse for a trade. I guess I could have checked the trade numbers before and after. Okay, let me do one more tick at the end of the month here to confirm the situation. All right, currently 39. Now, let's transfer back with this way. Let's bring the speed up again. Oh yeah, no, that is much better. What if I yoink the dude out of here? No, I don't think so, because look at the trade forwarding from the Lahore trade node. I think it's too important. What we need is another merchant. That's what we need. But those are going to come from ideas. Uh, we can invest in a tech. That's pretty far ahead of time. So I'd rather not. What's annoying to me? So we're going, we're ultimately going to go economic ideas for the quality plus economic discipline boost. I'm annoyed that we only get one extra merchant from this. It feels like maybe we should get more. Um, although, I, mean, I suppose that's what trade is for. Which I've always assumed we're eventually going to get. Because, I mean, late game I almost always end up with like a lot of trade. I really tend to, hold on, i got to adjust my mic here. I really tend to base my conquest on long trade nodes most of the time, so more is more better. How is the rebellion? Nah, it's a pretty big number of rebellion. Okay, I was going to say, maybe I can get you to drill, but I think the answer might be no. Now, the trade company investments is also something we could look into. Do I trade company this area? How come I... Oh, because they're still being court, I think. Or I already... Spain, Mamlux, Portugal. I haven't made you into states. Yeah, no, you're still being court. Okay. Can't, can't preemptively do it. But yeah, maybe, maybe the right thing to do is to keep this as a trade node. It's not like we have more governing capacity to make more states down here. Yeah, let's look into that after all the coring is done. Um, do we want to burn some military power? I suppose I might. Right, I don't have to burn any. Um, I mean, we don't have max legitimacy, but I don't think it's worth doing that. I think what we do is do some development. Um, right, there is an institution as well, although it is currently auto spreading. So I don't know how much I'm going to care overall. Um, what we're looking for, I was going to do coast because maybe getting more sailors, although a sailor amounts going fine now. 
but it might still be a good idea. But I'm just saying the places with green numbers for manpower on the coast might be a good place to do a little spend. I don't know. Some of that might not be coastal, but uh, let's do a little more. Okay. All right. We are still working to annex. Oh, no. It's Gorka. We've annexed Balmanis. Yep. That's, I mean, it's slowly but surely happening. And we're trying to befriend maybe the other people who hate the Ottomans. Oh, it's going to be difficult. Yeah, we are going to have to drop Russia to get these two to befriend. And we are going to have to do it because Russia is allied to the Ottomans. Oh, we renewed a loan. Yeah. Which we might want to pay off at some point. Okay, our monthly balance is getting better. I think all of our armies have been refilled here, so that is going to help some of it. Not to mention just getting some of this coring done is overall going to help our situation. All right, let's go back up to speed four. This is fine. Governing capacity is a little bit crummy. I suppose I should probably go and just keep whacking at this until we fix things. Oh, every time we hit this, it increased the cost. That's true. I guess there's a point where we're going to have to stop doing that. Um, What's the other thing? Release client state? Kind of vibe, maybe? I, just, I don't tend to like to do that, but I probably should. Do we have anyone over here? Oh, poop. We'll literally take the last option here, even though it does nothing for us because we can't save those points, to the best of my knowledge. All right, let's get you down there. A little attrition on the way, but that's fine. We were at the... Oh, we actually weren't even at the manpower cap. All right. How's the truce map looking? And when it breaks... I think we'll have to declare war on Persia once that becomes possible. Oh. Russia's attacking you, too. Hmm. Yeah, I think that will have to be the plan. In Holy War. Oh, did they just... You literally just end the war as I was looking, but now we border Russia. That's something else to consider. Is, is that the right move? I hate that these two have allied. That is so problematic. Okay, well, I guess that solves that political potato. Potato? Sure. Let's just say, you're not going to be willing to do it, huh? I mean, that is more troops, but I'm going to believe in your training. Maybe, hopefully. You got more cannons, too. That's probably helpful. I don't know. Um, oh, I do like the governing capacity. That's right. Although I'm still, I think we're still going to make use of the government capacity we invested in. We've got that. Don't really want to do this ahead of time. Yeah, not really. Okay, so alliance with Russia is broken. Wait, I can't add another rival? I guess there's no one valid for me? Although I'm surprised Russia's not valid. I'm not in a war. I would have thought that button would be available and then you just click on it and be like, oh, there's no one in the list, but maybe there's not. Um, you want me to convert a place to seek. Well, that's fine. Did I just start a conversion somewhere? Oh, we're just about to complete one. What's the reward for this? Missionary maintenance. Uh, half price inquisitor. I don't really need that. Make them a subject. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is actually fairly appealing. Yeah. Go was somewhere right there. Yeah, get a marketplace in this place? Sure. Sounds great. Done. Inflation's going up. Oh, we don't have an inflation reduction, dude.
Oh, I don't have enough money to replace. Okay. Did you deliver all the troops? You did. Good. Come over here. Kick their butt. That battle was won as expected. Just pull you back and put you on some automation again. Done, and yeah, just... Stand Rebel Stomp over here. You'll de -siege some stuff, which is good. All right, Annex is done. Gorka is ours. Gaining some CB against a couple of extra neighbors, which we don't care to use right this second. Age Reformation is going to end soon. Which is going to reset all of our perks, although we didn't have that many we cared about in this particular era. You know what? We can eat a little bit of devastation. That's not the end of the world. Wait, did we finish all the corn? No. I guess we haven't finished any of it. Both over there, but you're gonna go and auto spawn that. That's good. And oh, we still don't have the truce up yet. I think it was 05, yeah? Yeah. 05 for Persia. You're chilling here, which is gonna have to still be okay. Um what was your deal? Who are you gonna be merging up with? Come over here, that'll have to be okay. Uh, not Force March. Stompy Stomp. Okay. Improve relations, improve relations. Any chance? Oh! All of a sudden, it just flipped over from the negative on this month tick. Something changed, I guess, about their attitude with us. Austria? No. Distance. We have too many diplomatic relations. Yeah, neutral attitude. I think Commonwealth changed their attitude is what happened. Unfortunately, we can't royal marry you. A bit of internal warfare. Huh. And we're doing okay. Um, I guess none, nothing here is going to uprise again. You know what? Let's move you up here. Let's get you ready for the Persian War. We might want to get the admin efficiency before we war, because it will give us a discount on things. On the other hand, we still have the advanced or the increased cost, but it might be worthwhile. I'm not going to spend on great projects right now. Okay, all that coring is done. Is it because... Oh, it's because it's contiguous with us, isn't it? I can't trade company them. Okay, I guess that's going to have to be fine. Now first, regardless where these places are, any of the more powerful ones will go ahead and get some extra trade. And then some of these places, we're going to have to wait for some of this autonomy to drop down. Uh, wrong trade node. Oh, that's fine. Okay, that'll be a start anyway. And you're being attrition because you're on a boat. That's fine. More conversions are happening. Keep it going. How's your religious unity? Mm, 78, yeah. Yeah, we did grab a lot of extra territory all of a sudden. I think it was June or July that we could go to war with Persia. Do you have any allies? Your independence is guaranteed by Russia. Now, that might be fine. Because if I declare in Persia, Russia comes in, but I... I don't think they bring in their ro their vast their allies. Sorry, uh, we could just smack Russia around and force them to break the alliance with the Ottomans as one of our peace deals. Ooh, Austria, how you feeling? 
Hey, there we go. See? Friendly. Let's get this alliance going. Now, of course, this might pull us into more wars. But it's going to be generally useful for us. Okay, you're still being moved over, which is fine. Uh, yeah, let's get everyone on... Uh, we keep some people on Rebel Stomp. God, there's definitely going to be some rebellion, isn't it? Maybe I should go and provoke. It doesn't cost me anything. I mean, it'll cost me maybe a little bit more manpower to deal with. <clears throat> Where is this? That'll be you again. Hey, loyalty base production. Provoke again. There you go. Make the trip down. I could I could have moved a little bit more ahead of time, but that's gonna be all right. Well, maybe it was highlighting these problems. I guess it does. Okay. You're gonna siege that, which is gonna be annoying. Persian truce expired. Yeah, all right. Let's move up. Still a little bit worried about all this rebellion brewing. Quite a lot of wasteland. You're on the ship, which is good. And that and done that, which is a bit annoying. Actually, let's have... you up yeah just in case coalition starts to boot up here so if we were to declare war yeah um Bukhara would jump in all right I will promise you some land which we'll see you are going to contribute a decent amount of troops and also just prove to be a little bit of a distraction is what I'm hoping for. Okay, this is going to be a pretty important war here. One army still over there. That's going to have to be okay. Um, it might be worth hitting that button. I'm not sure. Who's our military advisor? Manpower? Okay, no. I guess that'll have to be okay. Diplomats are available. Do we have a subject still? My political situation. Lines to lines? No. So we'll just, uh, we'll just try to keep some of our allies as max as possible. Should I curry favor? Well, maybe that's the better thing right now. You know what? Hold on. I mean, it's too late for this war, but that's okay. I still want to start this war with a relatively decent timing. Let's curry favor with Austria and the Commonwealth. A little worried about this army being maybe a little far up. Oh! Hello, you. Head there. How's our... Oh, we can have more army. Cool. I'm going to recruit two more. Make sure you've got one assigned with a little bit of siege as well. You guys are moving together. You I can't assign right now. It's too late, unfortunately, because your position... Okay, you're done rebel busting down here. Next rebels are likely to be up here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move you up here. And then I might prompt those rebels to attack. You're moving over there. Instead of just being their debt, give them money, which I do currently have. 
Um, I don't know. We'll do this. I don't know. If, oh, oh, no, it's the other way around. They're giving us money. Um, all right. Well, maybe that's what I wanted. I'm not sure. With our military stuff, since the next tech level is not necessarily god tier in terms of making a difference for us, makes our cav a lot better, but I'm not sure that's a huge deal. We're going to go ahead and spend a little bit on this. All right, here comes the Russian and Persian forces. Rip you up. Okay, they're sieging out. <laughs> Excuse me, some Bukharan territory. I mean, literally Bukhara itself. Yeah, let's take advantage of the speed boosts over here. If nothing else, we're going to want it for being able to maneuver around. Oh, you're doing a force move. I wonder if you think you can jump on these guys. X16, so we're matching there. Quality and quantity. Well, I'm happy that you've got quantity ideas and you don't actually have that many more troops than you do. They have more infantry, but we do have a heck of a lot more artillery. Okay, you're turning around. Uh, I don't think reinforcing there is necessary. I don't think Russia is going to jump in before we get there in any meaningful way. Wow, Russia did take a lot of Persian territory. We'll boop them there, and then come over here. Okay. We've got time. Uh, oh, Russia did arrive in time. Ooh, that's... Force march faster than I give it credit for. You're only one tech level behind. You're getting your butt smushed. That's not great. Now, we're not going to get there. The mountain fort. Which isn't ideal for us right now. Yeah, they move fast. Okay, you keep going there. I mean, you have siege pips. All right, you have siege pip, but that'll have to do. Definitely go and do a barrage here. I guess we'll just wait here and be ready to reinforce if they get attacked since a um, mountain fort is not entirely healthy for us to fight. Call to arms, Commonwealth. Ottomans allied France first, although we don't necessarily know if they're going to come in. Um, I'm going to have to say yes here. Oh man, this timing is shit. Defensive war. We need to help our ally. Okay, I accept. Uh, we might get lucky on that tick. Epic. I'm gonna go ahead and do it again. I think I think I'm okay with just burning a lot of military power in this war, especially now this extra one started up. Uh, do I want to abandon this position? I'm going to come in with that. They've got more coming in there. Did we just lose that battle? I mean, I don't know that I can avoid it. F it. I'm going to commit. I don't think there's any quick buttons I can do. Again, we don't have... No, we don't have a booster. I don't think there's an estate thing I can do to improve that. This might go on long enough that this might actually come in in time to be relevant. Oh, wait, 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 wait
really bad. All right. Um, well, you're already locked in. I guess you're joining. Well, then it's kind of close. I think we're going to lose, although it might not be as bad as it was initially looking. See, this is what I wanted. I want a disciplined person available. Because that would have maybe made all the difference. God, that was tight. Nearly did it. Oh, and they're going to reinforce there. Well, we're already locked. Yeah, pull back as soon as you can. Okay. We'll just meet up there. <clears throat> okay, so going around with these half stacks not going to work. Uh, how did we not get that tick? Hopefully you're still okay. Ottoman's moving in there. What we can also do is draw them into our territory and use our defensive ideas to just burn them down. That would be good. I hope the Commonwealth are doing... Oh no, they're getting smashed up there. Uh... We, we're still getting prestige. We want the prestige for the war. Oh, new guru. Hang on. Didn't see less... Exo oh, uh, you know what? I will take this. The 2.5 isn't going to be enough to get us over the hump of um, what we need for the mission. But it's still discipline. Yeah, we'll take the hit in um, missionary strength. Show Elon. Boost to morale. Okay, we're getting all our modifiers now that I wish we'd had a little sooner. Um, well, it's pretty bad everywhere. I kind of want to group up with everyone. You're there. Okay, let's make some moves here. Maybe we can get a death stack going on in uh, favorable terrain. Or I just pull back to my own place. And see what that does. Although right now they're just occupying my ally. Um, I really don't want that option. Well, I don't really want to lose the stability either. Oh shit, that gives the morale of... No. Oh, only affects Rajput regiments. Oh, but we need the Rajput stats. Um, I mean, that's pretty garbagey, right? I mean, the autonomy will drop. It's only Rajput regiments that I don't currently use, and mostly because I don't know how. I'm going to reboost that. Well, I'm not going to be able to walk these guys together, because it's already too much... If this guy's vulnerable. Oh well, we're not gonna catch him. Or maybe we will. Okay, we're gonna keep spending here. Just to try to turn the odds or turn the result of things a little bit. Yeah, we have more base morale, more discipline, more tactics. Unless we don't have enough front line to spare, which could be a thing. Oh, shit. There's the rest of their stack. Um, yeah, you're not going to be able to dodge this. But, yeah, we're going we're gonna to throw in. There we go. We win this one. Oh, this fort being retaken is actually kind of annoying. Let's get a new template here set up again for just the siege template, which is just going to be 10 cannons for the bonus and then enough front line 
that if they do get jumped on, they're, the cannons aren't instantly engaged. It's you going there. Turn off the force march. And we'll have to keep everyone sort of kind of around here. Clean that up. I wish you had a siege a uh, leader, but I guess we'll have to do it this way. Okay, go here and here. Retake that just for ground control. We'll go ahead and assign a leader in general to you. Um I guess I'm gonna take my time here. I'll let that siege out without spending points on it. Be great to go and boop these guys, but if they just want to go and siege out some of my territory here and eat some attrition, I guess it's hardly the end of the world. I feel like I should focus on my primary war, which is versus Russia. I mean, I suppose if this war is lost, the Ottomans might take some territory over here, which would annoy me. You know what? Go ahead and barrage that. You go there, you go there, you go there. Just move up a little. But yeah, we're going to try to keep our guys kind of grouped up now. Because we should have the force in any one location to handle whatever Russia throws at us. It's just a question of engaging on our own terms. Also, not getting the mountain penalty would be nice. Uh, I know that Merv's kind of in the way here. Yeah, that's actually fairly annoying. Okay, we're gonna, we'll go for Merv. I was going to try to prevent this from falling, but I don't think that's in the cards. So they're all over here, which is not a huge deal. I mean, the fort here, and the fact that this is only level 2 fort, that's why I gotta get my forts up to level, uh, to higher levels, but I guess that'll have to wait until after the war. Uh, F it. Let's shoot the walls down. I was really, this timing is really annoying. It's like, oh, it's great, this way I won't have to fight the Ottomans, and then all of a sudden I do. Let's see about moving here if they... Okay, no, they got the siege. Yeah, see, not having these higher level forts is actually being a big problem here. I'd forgotten that I hadn't upgraded them all. I haven't followed my own rule, which is if you've got a fort, make sure it's the highest level fort. Although, I mean, if they will, no, they're going to lift that. Maybe they're coming to attack me here, which wouldn't be the worst thing. Oh, you need a general. Go here so we can assign that. Hang out near here in case they decide to attack me here. Mm, there we go yourself in general. I keep ignoring the Ottomans for a little bit longer. Trylands with maybe a numerical advantage. these guys before they leave. Force march in as many troops as possible. There we go.
Oh, you're still hanging over here. Uh, do I go after the other Ottomans? Not really. Turn off the Force March. Let's surround this mountain fort and hope they just don't attack us there. Which is not really a, a winning strategy, hope. But is what we're going to have to employ in this particular situation. Oh, you can turn off your Force March. Glad I caught everyone. You just keep on moving up this way. Oh, you're still in Rebel Stomp over there. I missed that I had a whole other army just sitting around doing nothing. Okay. That's less than ideal. Okay, this is a mountain fort, so I'm definitely going to want to accelerate this. Yeah, these Separatists down here we're just going to have to live with. You know what? I am going to start building the forts. Uh, defense. Sort by price. So these are all places that probably have the base one. There we go. we got a bunch of those going on. At least I'm assuming I'm correct in that. Yeah, these, these must already have some. So we're just leveling them up. Stomp the micro stack. That siege is going to go hopefully on this tick, would be great. Moving up, moving up. Loan offer. Yeah, sure, I'll take it. I'm fine with that. Yeah, no, do turn around and do this. Trade company, more loans. 4%. I'm going to say no to that. The 3% seemed fine. I'm going to skip the 4% one. It would be nice to make Bukhara not peace out of this war. They're going to de-siege over there. I still want to guard this. All right. See, the Kish is done. Good. Do I swing back over this way? I think the answer is going to be yes. No force march right now. This little tiny dude. Congratulations. You're in carpet siege duty. Uh, don't expect we can catch him with a force march. Well, let's check here. Oh, you can be. All right. Keep having everyone moving that way. Yeah, we'll engage with inferior numbers, but get reinforced very quickly. Although even with the inferior numbers, we were winning. Love to see that. I'm nervous. This is this is the hardest war of the uh, the campaign. Where are you heading to? You're heading over here. Not force marching, but we're generally just going to try to see if we can close on these guys. Hopefully, it, good. It didn't pass. Oh, and something's still moving over here. Oh, just a 1k. Alright. We should be able to engage these guys before the siege finishes. And I'm not worried about terrain in this case. I mean, there's a river crossing, but it's dry land, so it's not... The ownership of this province doesn't matter. But it would still be inconvenient to have to de-siege it. Okay. Big, huge win over there. Still no war-taking war score, but that's okay. 
Um, I'm assuming these guys are probably balanced okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to group this whole thing. Instead of five armies, I'm going to have four. Bring everything up a little bit stronger. Uh, going after fortresses at this point would be the most appealing. I'd still like to do something about the Ottomans, but the Ottomans are going to have to suck my attrition while we focus on everything else. Oh, we're 40 minutes into this. I guess I'm going to put in a cut and then figure out what our battle plan looks like for the next step. I'm assuming Russia is still... Yeah, they still have war score against me, probably because of holding Bukhara. So going and liberating that might be a play. Yeah, you stay here, siege that so you can get a leader. Yeah, there's no forts to target. They do have a couple active armies operating in Bukhara. So the thing to do might be to move that way, but we might... Maybe I drop off another tiny army. Okay, I kind of like this idea. Hold on. You go there. I'm just going to drop you. You'll get someone and just move to be adjacent. This large stack here. We'll do some double stacks. Just in case there's attrition. Now, we might lose some of these. Oops. Okay, I don't know who's who here. Um, you know what, that's fine. Let's just split off a couple more. Take care of that for me. In this big group, I should probably still split for some attrition management. You'll move there. Although I guess you're gonna get attrition along the way. Um, I'm gonna explicitly move you upwards and then across. All right, and then you, oh, I think I must have canceled the carpet siege thing. Oh, let's go and drop a little bit of something like this and keep you busy. I unpause, everyone's going to start moving, except for you, who are currently sieging there, which, you know what I'm going to do, is I'm going to split off and do this. I was going to wait so that you could get a, a leader, but no, we're going to start the siege of Bukhara and try to free that up. What's the terrain here? Dreadlands, okay, so we don't want to have to worry about a terrain penalty, so that's good. All of our army's actually busy now, we are at half our total manpower, um, and we currently do have negative income, but that's going to have to be fine. I'm just moving out this way. Is this one of the places? Yeah, this fort's not going to be upgraded in time. I'm just going to go ahead and cancel that. Oh, 50% of investment would be returned? I guess I'll leave it there. Maybe it'll just go into hiatus if it gets besieged. A little annoying, but I guess it's not the end of the world. Oh, and you will do that despite negative cash. Um, we can, I mean, we basically have no loans right now. I mean, we have one. But, you know, that's... Actually, the interest is surprisingly high. Oh, no, I got two because I've got the extra one from the... Uh, the other nation, but I guess that's going to have to deal with it. Yeah, we're just going to have to eat that for now. And before we peace out, we probably will go and take this, because theoretically we might save some points with the admin efficiency. Yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll take it when we get capped. So actually, probably in January, we'll go and take it. Obviously, we're going to need a bunch of admin power to do some coring here. About assuming we win the war. Fingers crossed. All right, put a cut in here. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.